I'm giving an overview of the Capture HD. This is the main menu. It has four uh, drop downs here audio, video, network, and control. Under the audio, you get to choose your input for both your speech and content, as well as any volume adjustments you want to apply. So, speech input here, you have either your, uh, your mix, bass, treble other features available there, input compensation, um, mix level, bass adjustment, treble adjustment, and then a delay if you're having audio to video sync issues. Uh, the volume, you can set the master volume for both sources. Under the video tab you have the operation mode. This is where you choose either record or stream. We're in stream mode. On the camera input, you get uh, options for composite on the standard Capture HD, on the Capture HD Pro, you get the addition of the 3G. Now you can choose your content input, you get either VGA or HDMI. Um, for record options, you can set either the format and the bitrate. The bitrate is only settable in chunks of 500, unfortunately, so wish there was a little finer increment on the bitrate as 500 is a bit of a jump you could set your streaming options so this would be the same format and bitrate there but uh, the minimal bitrate for the streaming goes all the way down to 500 uh, here's your network settings so you can check the status IP address, if you want a static IP address, it also functions with DHCP, uh, your subnet, your router. Under the picture-in-picture, picture, I'm currently running in side-by-side -side mode, but you can set multiple locations for either your content or video to show. In full-frame mode, you can either go full content or full video if you're only using one source. We can back out of that and go to picture-in-picture -picture size, so if you wanted big content, you could choose that or a bigger video. If you've set full frame, this is where you could choose either your camera to be full frame or your content to be full frame. Or if you're overlaying your video on your content, the HDMI output mode here, which would either be a confidence monitor or just a direct loop out to go to another projector or output source. The control system panel here gives you the option to enter the IP ID which the Capture HD needs to be on ID of 3 and then the IP address of the touch panel that you're going to be using it with backing out to the control this allows you to restore the default the about so this will give us what version we're on currently the storage this will give you the information about the default storage location um, so you have those three recording spaces, two USB, one in the front, one back, and the multimedia card slot. And then you can get the space left on each. So I have the front USB currently hooked up, and that reports back the space that's currently available on it. Backing out of that, this is the upload section, which needs to be set from Fusion RV. So we can go ahead in and check our upload path that we've set. This is our preset FTP directory that the Capture HD will upload to if we're running it in record mode. When in streaming mode, you don't get the option to record locally. And then you'll need the username, so fully qualified uh, domain user needs to be set up here. You could set a password to lock out any of the front panel controls. And then once the passwords enter, you can enable the front panel lock from here. And that's a quick overview of the Capture HD running in streaming mode and then some of the record features.